Hello, everyone, and welcome to my, I guess this is the second um, episode of the Finish Me Show in my starting my second year. Did you know last week or this week is my anniversary? Congrats. Thank you. Yeah. So you're like my first um, interview for this uh, next year starting. So Awesome. I feel honored. Thank you. <laughs> I feel honored. I'm so excited to finally get Faye on my show. <laughs> she is the founder of Busy Mums Workouts, and she recently started her own Facebook group. I don't want to move around the words. I think it's like wake up and work out. Is that it? That's right. Yeah. Wake up, work out, wellness with Busy Mum Workouts. Yes. And I'm telling you, she she's the real deal. Like she shows us how easy it is to just get up and do it. And I love like, um, what was it? Instead of weights, she, yeah. had, she said you can use water bottles or cans. So there's like no excuses. She does not give you excuses. Exactly. Four children and she's gorgeous. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, like just beautiful. So oh, welcome thanks. to the show. Um, as you can see thank this. you for having me yeah yeah way more informal than um than you were probably expecting this is not a i'm gonna ask you questions kind of thing <laughs> we're just chatting <laughs> we're chatting we always do so um what i love about faye is she didn't let the fact that and i'll let her tell more of her personal story in a minute that um when <laughs> Her, her husband walked out on her and her four children. She didn't let that stop her from living. It, and, and actually it inspired her to, do, to push harder in her business. Yes. So, um, I want you to just share with us how you went from there to you know, um, making it your mission to, to help the rest of us. Oh, thank you, my jolly. Well, thank you, Cordelia, for having me on your amazing show. And I'm going to give a round of applause to you because you are an amazing mom, homeschooling her kids as well, like myself. So I, I'm running a business, wearing many hats, and she does it so beautifully because you look so beautiful today. So, mm -hmm. wow, where do I start? Wow. Okay, my husband left um, in 2010 when I'd just given birth to our third child. So at the time, he walked out and left me alone with three children, a newborn baby, a two-year-old and a three-year-old. And yet it was very unforeseen for me. I, I did not see it coming. Um, so it was very, very sudden. And obviously, when it's in that way and in that manner, one, it's a shock. Two, you have no preparation for what you're going to do. And basically, it's a bit like your world comes crashing down. And it was like that for me. You know, my world came crashing down. And um, when he left, um, I, in my mind, I knew that it was such a, you know, I knew it was very devastating. But I've always had, I think maybe bef before I just met my husband, I'd been working on my, you know, on my relationship with God as a Christian. And so when he left, I threw myself back again into that my faith to have a solid foundation and so that was what I ran into and I kind of ran into my faith and kind of held on really tight and in doing so it gave me that courage to like you know dust myself off and um, have hope for tomorrow is going to be a better day and a belief that the future for me and the children would get better than you know what we saw it to be right now. Uh, and, and that's what I've been doing. So for eight years, I ended up coming up with an idea for a business that I ran for eight years, uh, a preschool dance business called Bop Along. And then after about eight years of doing, well, and we're in our eighth year now, but at the fifth year of doing that, so about, about what year are we now? 2018. So about five years ago, I lost my home. And I found myself living in a hostel. So three years into running the business, I hit like another roadblock and I lost my home and my children and I had to live in a hostel in this one room, you know, all alone and everything. And basically it just felt again, like another big crash. You know? <laughs> and I laugh now because it was a blessing in disguise. Obviously at the time I didn't think that. 
And following on from that, I ended up starting another business. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems that every time I hit a, a really difficult, challenging you know, time in my life, and my, I always say to people, for me, I think my best comes out when my back is up against the wall. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but please God, no more, no more big challenges, no more. <laughs> wow. So that's how I started my business. So now I run, you know, the preschool dance business, Bob Belong, and my fitness business, Busy Mum Workout. Perfect. And they, they are like, uh, definitely synergistically aligned, right? Yes, so, like, very much. But the little kids are super busy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I want to just pull out for a minute. So, you know, a lot of times when our world comes tumbling down, we, that's when we give up. Yes. And we don't see the value in, um, or the lesson in the struggle. Yes. Very and, true. you know, you bring up a really good point. You know, you're, you're a woman of faith. And, you know, instead of, I, I want to, I guess, talk about love for a minute. Yes. Because, yes. you know, a lot of times women, they, they're, everything is their spouse, right? Their husband, yes. boyfriend, yes. their partner, whatever. And for you to realize that, you know what, my everything is really my creator. Yes. Right? god it's and so that has really given you strength all along and yeah. you know we have like self-love coaches and they can talk about ways to love yourself yes. but it, you know you just have to um align yourself with a higher source and so like if you're not christian or if you're not muslim whatever that higher source is for you you need to align yourself with that yes so. And, and I love what you said, and that is very true because um, when you align yourself with, you know, people, as people say, the universe, God, Muslim, Buddhist, whatever it is, it takes, it makes you realize that, you know, life is precious and, you know, that also you have a choice how to live that life because it's precious and it's a gift, you know, I can choose to live it this way bitter or I can choose to live it this way positive and optimistic and so I realized that I had a choice and I chose not going to be bitter yes my first reactions yes my first emotions will be that but I'm going to work from that place to this place because this is where I actually want to be so I always kept working away from that bitter feeling that bitter memories i kept pulling myself away from that and drawing myself to the light of being positive so yeah i love that i yeah. love that so um you made you made me think of something and it just it's gone like that <laughs> oh, wow. there is um there is uh so much power in in really just reframing your perspective um, yeah. with yeah, very much. like that. So, oh, that's what I was going to say. So on the topic of positivity, you have yes. a show, right? Called yes. the, the F, F word. word. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because, you know, like that catches people and then they realize, oh, her name is Faye. Yes. <laughs> but in your show, you really dive deeper into your religious belief. And that's right. um, listened a couple of times and you know so if I have if we have listeners today or viewers who are Christians will really resonate with Faye because I mean she she like deeply deeply believes and that is really really her rock and um, if you struggle in that area you want to tune in on Tuesday 7 p.m. UK time That's to right. the F word on um, Facebook yes and that's going to be 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for us in the U.S. Yay! Come on, join me. <laughs> so um, I want to talk a little bit more about, so tell me about Bop Along a little bit. Oh. I don't know too much about that. Is that only local, I guess? Yeah. Yes, it's very local. And, it was, and it's funny you asked because when I started this business, I was thinking to myself, shall I 
put the two together. But now it's nice to, it flows nicely to be able to say, yes, I run this and I run this. And, and it just, you, as you said, having your faith shows you what is possible when you believe and you have something carrying you through, you know, to be able to say that I have one business and now I say I have a second business, you know, it's such a privilege. It's, you know, it's not because I take it lightly. Um, and so, yes, please tune into the show because my faith is very important. And Bop Along is very much, it was my, um, it was a bit like a plaster for my wound. Yeah, so I was going through this difficult time and challenging time. And what I found was by having Bop Along, where it's a preschool dance business, parents come in, children come in, and I teach them all a dance. In 30 minutes, I teach them various dances. And my aim is to basically help them to socialize, meet other parents, teach their children to dance. They exercise as well in disguise, in fun. <laughs> right. They make friends, their social skills have improved. So many, many benefits. And so it really was like a healing, you know, salve on over the situation I was going through and allowed me to channel that positivity outwards to other people as well. So, yeah. Yeah. A lot of what we do is really a healing, right? It, it's yes, it's yes. always the healing for us first and then we can like radiate out. Out. So, yeah, that's yeah, so beautiful. True. I love yeah. that. Yeah. And, um, and I found in my class that men, I started getting women that came into my class that had found themselves in positions where their spouse had left them or some of them were actually homeless. And it allowed me to, with my faith, to be generous as well. So I was able to say to some people who would open with me, don't pay me, just come along, you know, because you are, are, you know, you're happy here. It's a space for you to forget your problems for 31 hour, 30 minutes to an hour. So you know what, don't pay me, just come, because I want to give that back to you. And so it was wonderful because I just felt really blessed that I was able to be in that position to, to provide help, a solution for someone at that moment. And I know people might think, well, how's a dance class going to resolve someone's problem? But it does because it allows you in a place to express yourself. You know, when you're going through difficult times, the last thing you're thinking about is joy and laughter. You're thinking of stress and headache and worry and finances and how am I going to keep my roof oh you know the, my head above water how do I take care of these kids on my uh, you can see everything that's going on in your head nothing about it is about love or care or friendship so in in that space they were able to forget about their worries outside come in here recharge find peace find happiness, find laughter, find joy, and then you can just find that positivity and take it back with you to face whatever it is that you're facing. Yeah, and that's so important, you know. Um, you just, that's what you need. You need some time to center yourself. Yes. The movement is so important. And of course, you know, the element of socializing and, you know, like you forget your humanity. You become right. like a machine because you're like, I must produce this for my children to live. That's right. That's Instead right. of, so now you gave them a space, you are giving them a space yeah. where they can like refresh and replenish themselves. That's right. And then they can like look at their situation with new eyes, you know. New eyes, yeah. Very much. And you know, it was, it was, I mean, the effects of that class, I cannot explain, you know, that business really healed me and really healed my children because we would go in and we would come out so joyful, so happy. And so like, oh my God, what a great day. And it would just carry on for the day after and two days after. And just, we were just so um, energized from it. So as you just said, we found ourselves being rejuvenated and replenished from that experience, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, di I didn't do my normal introduction at the beginning where I talk about, this is the Replenish Me show where we get strategies from powerful women, but it's clear that, you know, you, you embody, you know, just that whole um, expression. 
you know? My town name. So um, I, I want to talk a little bit about, um, so you're just for everyone, so you're clear, she is in London. So if yeah, I'm in London, if that's you could probably hear my noisy kids in the background, kids, <laughs> quiet. <laughs> I have to remind them, kids, mommy's on an interview. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, if that's something that it, it sounds like something you need, please connect with her and I'll put all her details um, below or above this video and audio. Um, so, um, I don't have my questions in front of me, so I'm kind of making this up as I go along. <laughs> oh, you don't look it at all. And thank you so much for having me, Cordelia. Honestly, we'll go with the flow. We, 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 we have that synergy, don't we? We really do. I just want to chat it up with you, actually, but I have to, I have to uh, censor it a little bit. I'm now remembering, like, wait, we're recording. I can't say that. So, um, <laughs> but, um, right, so you're homeschooling like me. Yes, How I did am. you come to that decision? Oh, that's, that's a great question. I always wanted to homeschool my children. So I'm sure it must have been the same for you. So I used to spend a lot, a lot of time with them, reading, teaching them. And I'm, I talked myself out of it and let them go to school. And um, looking back, it was still a great experience for them. But then there came a time when my children, I just felt that they weren't getting the best out of that environment and that I could do so much better. And so I then decided, yes, I'm gonna pull them out of school. Then I kind of gave myself a deadline, but unfortunately, you know, an incident happened at the school where my son had his teeth knocked out. You know, my daughter experienced some other issues in the school and I just thought, right, it happens now. And so I had no choice but to just do it there and then, you know, irrespective of my time scales. And I look back and I'm just so happy that it was the best thing that I did, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't ask for more. We've grown in the experience, yeah. Man, I am so grateful to know you. I didn't know this. This is like, man, you were like the ultimate and roll with the punches woman. <laughs> like so powerful. I'm gonna recommend you to go on another podcast. You're just making me think of one. Um, so yeah, so you wanted to homeschool, but you yeah. talked yourself out of it. But then here comes God forcing you at it again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He does. He does. And you know what? I am so thankful for that because had he not done that, I would, you know, the best of me would not have been, would not come out. I wouldn't be here with you now doing what we're doing, you know, and hopefully inspiring someone else, as you said, to have the confidence to go for, you know, those little voice in your head is there for a reason. And I've learned that now. So you see me doing a lot of Facebook lives because I just share those voices that come in my head and tell me things. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get it out there. Um, and so, yeah. <laughs> my thoughts and ramblings yeah yeah and and precious they are they really yeah are. yeah so i mean um so i want i wonder though did you ever have any bouts with depression i mean i'm it just seems like you've really had some things come up and and i see that you've handled them well but even me i mean i had postpartum depression and i you know before that i was grieving the death of my parents and i think Truthfully, that probably lasted until I had my fourth child. I, I think I, it ju I just kind of got over it. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. So I was just wondering, so what would you say that you did have bouts with depression and how did you deal with it? I will have to be very honest and say that I didn't have depression. And I will, and I will tell you the reason why. Not because I have this amazing ability to just stay positive, but because I channeled, I found something to channel my energy into. So apart from, yes, I've got to be a mom and I've got to provide for my children and I've got to keep that roof over my head and everything. I also realized the importance of my own health, you know, my mind, you know, my, my sanity. So I, and I, and I think I realized it on a lot earlier than say, say other people. So what happened was I remember 
like a time when I was thinking, I'm going to go crazy. Um, and I went for a run. And I found that when I went for that run, because I'm the kind of person that I exercised at home because I knew the constraints, you know, the dad's not around, got no choice. But one day it was getting so much. And I asked my neighbor if he and his wife could watch the children. And he said, yes. And I was like, I'm going for a run. And I went for a run and I was, I was running and I was talking to myself and I was like letting out my frustrations. And I found that I felt really good at the end of it and thought, wow, this is great. And I was never a runner before, you know, I was not the kind of person that ran. I was like, running, ill, you know, <laughs> who in their right mind runs, you know. <laughs> but what I found was the way it gave, I felt like all of a sudden I felt I had control. I found a way to deal with my emotions, but I also had control because I could control how long I was going for. I could control where I went. And you know, sometimes when life is throwing things at you, it seems like it's taking the control away from you. You know, it feels like it's taking, that you don't have control. Things are just happening at you. Your husband leaves. You can't afford the mortgage. The bills are coming. You lose control. And in running, I felt like I had control. And so that was what, why, how I found my sanity. And then once that light bulb moment came and I thought, wow, running is really good for me. You know, I can think, I can pray, I can talk to God because I could also reflect. I just, it was something I started doing all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, um, I, I say that what I do, like my exercising and, you know, my choices are really to be in service of my children, right? right. Because um, so often, you know, we hear the women, one of my children's playing piano, I don't know if you can hear it, but um, you know, a lot of moms, they want to be like that superwoman, or, you know, us as Af African descent women, we, we like to say that we're the strong black woman, right? Yeah. And um, I just never felt that way. I felt like I cannot be the strong black woman. I am the, I got to be in service to my kids and we're going to hang out and, you know, um, take care of me first. Exactly. And, you know, I love, I love, that's why I love where I am in my journey right now, the, the platform to be honest. Okay. Cause I don't, I don't, I, I know people tell me that you're very strong. You know, they say to me, you're very strong, but I think I'm strong because I'm honest mm -hmm. about my failings. And I'm honest about where I'm weak. And so I don't actually, where I'm weak, I don't, I don't dwell on that because if I dwell on that, then I'll be depressed. So what I do is I say I'm weak in an area and then I dwell on my strengths to help me overcome that weakness. You know, like you just talked about that, um, being that strong black woman. You, it, it was the same for me. And I always say to people, you know, when they see me, they go, oh, you look amazing. You look great. And I say, I say, today's a very good day. You didn't see me yesterday. And, you know, and I feel like I'm a, I feel like I'm a clown and you juggle balls. And I say to them, I say, I'm always juggling balls. And the good days, the clown gets it right, passes it from one hand to the other. And I say, on other days, I completely drop the ball. And when I drop the ball, you probably don't see it because I don't try to pretend that I'm the strong black woman. I'll just stay at home, shut the door, pull the curtains and say to the kids, right, go and have toast because mommy's too tired to make dinner. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I love it. So I like that. So I want to, you know, it's so funny. Like the theme this week for me somehow has been abundance. Yeah. So you just said that you were like, I don't, I I've stayed away from, depression by dwelling on my strengths yes right and being honest with myself yes. about my weaknesses yeah and very it, much right, so. we do lie to ourselves a lot it's like oh yeah. i don't have weaknesses right <laughs> that just like pulls us down because it's okay to have weaknesses that's yeah. why we're human <laughs> yes yes, yes. Yeah. and that was why you know i think the, the union of marriage is so beautiful because it's the merging of two different people with 
two sets of weaknesses and two sets of strengths. And usually the aim when you marry is that, okay, his, weak, his strength will comp compensate my weakness and my strength will compensate his weakness. And I think that maybe because we sometimes don't understand that openness that we're supposed to have about our weakness, we, you know, fight and, and you know, fight each other because that, why, that spouse is good at this. And, and I used to think, well, no, it's meant to be like this. You're supposed to be great at this and I'm supposed to be crap at that, you know? <laughs> My husband was a fantastic and amazing cook and I'm crap. And I'm not good. I'm not, I'm not that, you know, gourmet mum. I'm not that gourmet chef. You know, it's my, I, and I'm a quick and easy mum. I'm in the kitchen. It gives you, nutri gives you nutrients, nourishes your body. But we've got to be done in 20 minutes. <laughs> Amen. Right? I, I love it. And, and you know what? Even my, my older son, he'll say that. He'll say to, like, um, his younger siblings sometimes, look, it doesn't have to be delicious. It has to be good for you. <laughs> And I'm like, wait a minute. Does that mean you don't like my cooking? <laughs> so, what awesome son, clever boy. Right. But now, you know, he's like the second chef. So if he's like, like over my shoulder too much, mom, you didn't put any salt. Mom, you forgot. <laughs> okay. Well, how about this? I'm leaving. Yes. And he's like, okay, thank you. He's oh. like, thank you. <laughs> but he is, you know, he's really. Oh. You know, mashallah, really good cook. So, yeah, um, yeah it's, it's all good. And, and that's right. We just are, we are charged with making sure that we nourish their bodies appropriately. That's right. <laughs> and there's too much stress and enough love. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I love it. Bring a little bit of love. Stir it with some anything else, you know. Shake it up. There you go, kids. <laughs> right. All you need is love. <laughs> And a glass of water. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Let's not forget that. <laughs> and bed on time, right? <laughs> that's it. And I and I and I think that's it's that honesty that I think that people uh, hopefully understand and get from me because I I don't want to um, I don't want to um, give anyone the impression that I have it all together, you know. But having it all together really is just about having an understanding of yourself and who you are, your makeup, how you've been created, the flaws and so forth. And so that's literally what I run with, you know, that understanding. Yeah, we're, looks like there's a mutiny going on outside. The <laughs> Join the club. Uh, we must. I told you we're in sync. Please bring it down. Like my my two, my son came down to tell me the baby's driving us mad. You know, and I was trying to speak without moving my lips. Like, uh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh, the joys. Yes, we love them. So I'm going to call my my daughter down to say, please bring down the baby. <laughs> to you and then she stopped driving everybody do like late <laughs> <laughs> that's fine that's fine i've been fortunate i've got two people trying to you know hold down the fort for <laughs> so. um so i want to ask you like we've talked about a whole lot of things but yeah. what would be the three top things that you would want someone to pull out of our conversation today oh definitely i would say one Find something to hold on to in terms of, and you and I will say faith, and they might say a universe, but find something that you need, to, you can hold on to and hang everything else on. So mine is God, yours is your faith as well. So if they don't believe in God and they don't believe in the universe or anything, then it's got to be something like a belief in the fact that, you know, my life can get better than this and this is not where it's going to end and that I'm going to have a good future. You need to hang on to something because if you don't have something to hang on to, what do you, how do you keep on going? How do you keep on taking that step forward when the knocks come? So they need to have something to hang, you know, hold on to. So that's the first thing I would say. And then number two, you know, create a vision for their life. 
you know? So my faith has made me have the confidence to go for it, but I have to, first of all, have that vision in my head. So have a vision in your life. And, you know, I have a vision in my head that, you know, my kids are not going to go through what I go through and become single parents, you know, but I'm arming them with the tools. So as I'm going through the journey, I'm giving them the tools to know who they are, to have confidence in themselves, to have a belief and to have the right mindset. So I would say, you know, create a vision for the life you want for yourself and your children. And you can have that now. So for example, the way you and I are here, this is actually something I envisage that I can be the mum that worked from home, you know, and here we are, you know, they might be screaming in the background and mine are screaming upstairs, <laughs> but I'm home whilst they're doing it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so that's a vision for my life. And then the third thing I would say is, you know, once you have that vision, you know, or something you hang on to and have that vision that you're creating for yourself, now you're going to have to do the work where you have to believe. You have to start believing that it's possible. You're going to have to start saying to yourself, actually, this vision that I have is not uh, you know, a pipe dream. It can actually happen. So if it can happen, okay, what, what shall I do? What steps can I start taking to make it happen? You know, um, when the idea for Bop Along came in my head, I had to start phony, you know, write down the idea, refine the idea think about it more and think who, who would love what I do? You know, I'm so sorry, I just end that call. And that's what I did. And that's what I did. And so it's, it's having that belief in yourself that, you know, my life can be great, can be better than where I find myself right now. And then you just keep on going, never give up no matter what comes, you know, and stay positive. That's the top thing. And it's the positivity that you now channel. It's like the fuel. You need those three things. It's like those three things are the wheels of your car. And then positivity, it's like the key. You turn it on and then you go. <laughs> Man, we've got to hang out like in person. <laughs> I want to squeeze you. This was so much fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. And my kids and I keep saying it. Oh, we wish Auntie Cordelia lived here in the UK. <laughs> they say all the time because we we met on Facebook, we met and we've just connected and you're just so wonderful. You're, and I love that because when I first saw your profile, I thought, oh, she's great. She's, she's a mom like myself and she's got great qualities, you know, and yeah. I would add extra. I know you wanted me to give three. I'm going to give an extra <laughs> one. And I'll say, surround yourself with like-minded people. Yes. Yeah. Surround yourself with like-minded people, people that Feed your positivity and not drain your energy with their negativity. You know, that's, that's so important. So key. So key. Yeah. Even if it's virtual. Yes. Even if it's virtual, talk to them. You know, um, Cordelia, you, you uplift me when I talk to you. You throw ideas at me and then you go, oh, that was good. I you know I can think of stuff like that. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> yes and you inspire me because a lot of times like when I'm giving you some suggestions it's like yes. I didn't even know that I knew that I'm like oh yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh yes definitely what you said don't we live in such a small world now and everyone is really within your reach yeah. so you really um don't have the excuse to let adversity keep you down where you are okay because it will come the adversity will come some you will see coming, some you won't see coming. Some will be like winds and some will be like storms. You know, <laughs> whatever they are, you can overcome them all, you know? Absolutely. Beautiful. Well, it's been an amazing conversation and definitely a joy having you on. Um, Thank you for having me. And um, so do you have anything coming up? Are you promoting anything right now? Yes. I have got my group, my Facebook group called Wake Up Workout Wellness with Busy Mum Workouts. And that group is free. And in about three weeks time, it's going to be a members only. So please come and join. Be the an early bird. Come and join me. Uh, and I also do online coaching as well. I do one-to-one. -one. And it's not just for the body, you know, because the mindset is so important. And we both know that. We talk about that a lot. So 
I can offer coaching on the mindset, specifically where people get stuck. Because you know, you want, you, you want to create that life of your dreams, but you actually don't know how, what steps to take, and actually how to get yourself outside your comfort zone to do those things that you need to do. Because, you know, there's a story we tell ourselves a lot of the time and, and actually help people to be aware of the story they tell themselves. And then once you realize, oh, it's just a story I've been telling myself, I can now rewrite that story and create a new ending. Now I know what I need to do. So that's how I help them. So please get in touch if you want some coaching in that as aspect, you know. And of course, my coaching on the body and just to help people adopt a healthy lifestyle, implement it in their own life and, you know, just let go of excuses. OK, so I'll have a link to your Facebook group. Yes. And which will soon be members only. Yes. And um, and also <laughs> the way for people to contact you if they're if they're not group type people and they just need that yes. one on one stuff. One -on -one. Yeah. 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 So, I, was, I was. I think I started a little bit late with you today because I was coaching someone on, as well a few moments before. So yeah. ran over because she was like, oh, "I want to get more. I want to get more." So you know, please get in touch because you know my aim is to help people. It's not. I'm using my experience to help you, and you, I want you to be a success. I want you to have a new story, and I want you to have the the tools and the confidence to be able to say, I'm going to write my own story now. You know, I've watched other people. I've read about that person. I listened to Cordelia's show, but one day I would love to be able to do what she's doing or what that person's doing. And that's where it starts from. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So you, if you need to ramp up quickly, connect with Faye. So you yes. can make that vision and step into action. Yes. So I appreciate you being here so much. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. And um, to all my listeners and viewers today, um, thank you for um, enjoying the show. But please, if you have a friend that needs this information, don't be greedy. Share yes. it. <laughs> Share it with other people so they can find out about Faye. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.